In today's video, we're continuing our coverage on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The Fantastic Four movie looks like it potentially could be shaping up to be better than Deadpool 3. I know, that sounds crazy. So Marvel are overhauling everything that's currently in pre-production. They're overhauling everything to make everything better. And if the information that's around is true about the Fantastic Four, this movie could be so freaking insane. So yo, what is freaking good YouTube? Wish you have your new anime subscribers and never miss in a Marvel DC Kaiju Monsterverse Marvel DC pop culture based content that I cover personally on a daily basis. If you could subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and let me know which Marvel movie are you most looking forward to. And also, do you think the MCU could be saved? And also, become a channel member for less than 99p or less than $1. It really helps the channel. It helps keep these lights on this channel. Also, it would be awesome if you could follow me on Instagram at WarsTu to see that beautiful face behind that beautiful voice. And also check us out on Twitter, WarsTuG. Why? Because Elon Musk can't actually afford to change the actual name of Twitter to X. It's all right having the X logo everywhere. But come on, Elon Lad, you're supposed to be rich. Check, get rid of everything to do with Twitter and just call it X.com. So there is some new information going around, but it's not actually new. It's very old. In fact, GeekyCast, the boy GeekyCast, who should have more credit than pretty much every scooper, even though he's kind of a scooper, but he keeps receipts for everything. So don't be misled into thinking this new information about Franklin Richards being new according to can we get some toast? It's more like can we rip off the geeky cast? So information's going around now. And it's funny how now apparently according to via can we get some toast? People believe it, even though Geeky Cast said it at least back in November last year. And he also said who Reed Richards would be, and that turned out to be true too. So, reportedly, Franklin Richards will appear in the Fantastic Four movie. Production is expected to begin this summer. Cool story, bro. But if you go back to what the Geeky Cast said last year, I hate that the social media world really works on who's got the most followers, who's got the most views to be credible. Because realistically, it doesn't matter how big or small you are, that doesn't really add to credibility it's like are you right more than you're wrong so this tweet oh what's to bring the tweet up goes back to november last year so it's not new information according to someone who recently reached out there is talks of casting franklin and valeria richards which is insane but when geeky cast said it no one believed him but now that can we get some bagels is saying it everyone believes it now two names have popped up for franklin and two for valeria it seems they are going for a little old and are working around Pedro Pascal, if this is true. And to be fair, he didn't even say it was true. And months later, Pedro Pascal is Reed Richards. Yeah, a cool story, bro. Everyone thought that was going to be the case. But this is interesting because, yeah, I know I'm not that comic book guy. Go to, there's way, in fact, go to Geeky Cast channel. He, he puts some pretty cool content. There's lots of different channels that are way, way more knowledgeable than me when it comes to comic book information. But Franklin Richards is one of the most powerful Marvel characters ever, which is insane because his character comes into the MCU in this movie. So obviously Franklin is the son of Reed Richards and Sue Storm, also known as Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman of the Fantastic Four. Franklin is an Amiga level mutant and with reality warping abilities, even at a young age, he was one of the most powerful beings in the whole freaking universe. So could Franklin Richards save the MCU? We don't know. So let's just, you know, go over some boring stuff. So essentially the information goes like this. Franklin Richards was born in New York City. Franklin was born with a mutant based power. But since his mum was immune with cosmic energy, he started to emit his powers while still in the womb. Franklin was exhibiting powers, giving the invisible woman premonition and even moving objects tenaciously wise during Sue's pregnancy with Franklin. She began to weaken to the point where the remaining of the Fantastic Four traveled to the negative zone in order to get the cosmic control rod in order to save both the mother and child after a long struggle and with the rest of the team, managed to salvage some of the cosmic energy from the rod, went back to their own reality where Sue gave birth to a healthy baby boy in remembrance of her father, who had perished in the act of heroism, where he saved the life of the team. She and Reed named the boy Franklin Benjamin Richards, and it should be noted that Benjamin is the first name of Franklin. Interesting. Godfather. Interesting. So basically, he, he's a 
god tier level character pretty much one of the most powerful characters ever he's a, he's got other aliases as galactus i mean if i'm not out speaking i think he was a herald of galactus as well so yeah he's just insanely powerful which is cool so there is some information out there well kind of out there it could be a theory it might be true. It might be made up. I don't know. Find out when the movie comes out. But you know me. I like to go over stuff. But I'm not going to make out it's, you know, 100% confirmed. But it is so freaking insane because if we go back to, we're not going to go over it, but it, the original information for Fantastic Four movie was way different. So this might be true, might be fake, might be made up. I don't know. But to be fair, most channels like this are made up on, you know, theories anyway. So let's just take it with a pinch of salt. The opening scene would state something like Earth 188, and the tone of this Earth would be slightly different from the main 616. Kind of like how the 838 had a slightly different tone. The finale would be Galactus destroying the Earth, but Reed Richards would create his time travel device, and we'd see a similar kind of device to Doctor Strange with Dharmamu where the te team keeps going back in time to figure out how to defeat him. Nothing would work, and the finale scene would be them attempting to go back in time, but instead getting intercepted by the Council of Reeds. I mean, the Council of Reeds has been highly rumored and highly wanted by a lot of the fans. Marvel are kind of, you know, fan baiting a lot recently. They would explain that their Earth is destined to be destroyed, and they would need to let it happen, but that there's bigger multiversal stakes at play with the incursions destroying entire universes most if not all of them and the reeds will be played by different actors john skuskinji would be one of them which is pretty cool and then it just goes on to say that a bunch of other top tier actors like driver matt smith etc could potentially play other variants now this could be completely fabricated it might be true it might not be true we don't know find out when said movie comes out but it would be interesting. And there is a lot of information out there that it does look like they could be cast in, potentially. Reed and Sue Storm kids. And if Franklin's involved, that would technically make him one of the most powerful beings in the MC. I mean, what is it with them introducing? Like, it's always the most powerful, you know. Sentry's coming in. It's like, it's always the most powerful beings, which it would be cool, but we don't know. But yeah, he is one of the most powerful mutants out there. And. I mean, I could be wrong. In fact, I hope I am wrong. But it is cool that they're filming it in England. In the summer, it means Walsh Stu could maybe get a cameo. Uh, maybe. We don't know. But it's worth saying that Geeky Cast said it way before. Can we get some toast? So it would be interesting. I'm not saying it's confirmed. I'm not saying it's verified. But there is some pretty cool fan art out there. And we know how Marvel loves, loves to fan bait. So apparently they're going to start filming in London in August. That really triggers me. Because when they say London, they mean Pinewood Studios, which is outside of London. But, but I get it. It's semantics. It's uh, just... It, it's the way people talk. I get it. So, like I said before, guys, we're not stepping away from the Kaiju Monsters content. But Godzilla X Kong of the Empire comes out this week. And as of when I watch it, I, I won't be able to give my you know thoughts till the embargo lifts which it lifts on the thursday i believe but expect a godzilla x kong new empire for a full explained and explained video later this week on the channel we will be covering a bunch of Deadpool 3 stuff we're going to try and cover a prefer of marvel stuff but i really wanted to go over this fantastic four stuff because we know Galactus is supposed to be in said movie. We know that a lot of people want Doctor Doom to appear in the movie, which would be cool if they can get someone like Killian Murphy. But now he's won an Oscar. He's won literally every award. He said the script would have to be so perfect that he probably won't do it because the script won't be good enough. But it would be cool if we could get Killian Murphy. He literally is Doctor Doom. Like you would need a top tier actor, which Marvel generally doesn't have top tier acting, you know. Do you remember like years ago when Marvel actually had acting? You know, Iron Man during Endgame, you know, when he's literally having that scene with Steve Rogers. We don't really, and that's one of the biggest issues with Marvel. There's not really much acting. It's more like CGI, big set pieces. No, just go back to the origin. Go back to freaking acting. We need some act. I mean, superhero movies need acting in some capacity. Can't all be jokey jokey. And that's what annoys people. So likewise, guys, let them know. Do you think this plot leak theory thing could potentially be true? I don't know, but it does sound pretty interesting. So likewise, guys, check us out on Instagram at WarsTu. Check us out on Twitter at WarsTuG. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Become a channel member. Follow us on Instagram, like always. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.